Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tony and I um, am playing Stardew Valley with my sister Holly. If you are not new here, welcome back. Um, but today we are going to be talking about our different parenting styles. So let me get Holly on and I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, hello. Hello. Oh, sorry, I'm super tired. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it's weird because, like, Jen called me earlier today and I was talking to her about, um, you know, like, my job and all that kind of stuff. And I mm -hmm. was telling her it's insane to me that I'm as tired as I am because it's not like I get up and go to work and, like, do strenuous activity. I sit right, at and a it's desk not like you're and getting up a lot earlier than you were that's before. That's the thing is I'm, not, I'm getting up maybe a half hour earlier than I have been basically the same time that I would during the school year and I'm just answering phones and like yeah put you know inputting stuff into computers but I swear I'm so exhausted <laughs> uh, just a change of routine your body's like not there yet yeah uh, oh God Ooh. all right. So let's see. What is different about our parenting styles? Oh yeah. What's the same about yeah, our parenting today styles? Today Holly and I are talking about our parenting styles and the difference and similarities with them. Um, I would definitely say that the differences would probably, well I don't know. Okay, so I guess we can just like talk about our parenting styles. I would definitely okay. say that like the biggest differences in my opinion between mine and yours would be um the technology factor oh yeah well yeah yeah because you're definitely for a while though you were you kind of were trying to manage it the same way with um nope, never. matthew never ever but I thought I remembered you talking about how you were trying to, like, give him limits, because... No, what we did was, um, when he would get in trouble, he would get grounded, and instead of getting grounded for a set amount of time, he would have to earn it back with good behavior. Because yeah. getting, like, getting grounded, um, for, like, two days was not really affecting him the way that, um, let's see, the way that you know, it would be like if he had to actually earn it back by doing, you know, blah, 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 blah. But never at any point have I set like actual, like you have screen time for this amount of time kind of situation, you know? Okay. I don't even I use the phrase screen time. I just... I thought that you did for some reason, like for a while. No, um, no, Bob used to claim that that was a thing, but no, it never was. Bob would just say it to people so that I don't really know why. I, I guess so that people oh, didn't think that egg. our kids, we already have a allergic. Oh, unless you mean the brown one. The brown one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Bob used to uh, pretend like, like he made a big deal about screen time, but he never did. Huh. Uh, well, see, for me, the problem is, is that I, um... If, if I don't, like, if I didn't, like, give them any kind of limit on when they could have screens, they would literally do nothing else ever with their time. Yeah. And, I don't know. I just, I don't know. That bothers me. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I have to. But, you know, I keep telling them, like, I, I keep, I do keep telling Jay, though, that, like, if we never give them the chance to you know, just make their own decisions with that, then we'll never know if they're capable of it. Because he's yeah. basing it on, like, what they did, you know, like, a year and a half ago when we tried that. And I'm like, okay, but they're older now. <laughs> like, Right. So, but I don't really give Augie any screen, screen time on, anymore. Because um, he has his phone, so he just kind of has free reign with that now. Yeah. And Callie can have screen time periodically it, yeah I don't know we're just we're not really strict about it as we used to be because um if there's like a a lull and we're not doing anything important then usually you know they can be on their tablets or whatever wow 
Yeah. That that whole thing has kind of like faded off recently. Oh my All god, right. my head is twitching so much today. It's driving me insane. That sounds really unpleasant. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Like it's it's like aggressively like shaking. I'm like, oh I hate it. I hate when it does that. Ah uh, are you um is it like can being like super tired trigger that? Um, probably. I know stress triggers it really bad. Um, and I'm not yeah. particularly stressed, but mm -hmm. there is the stress of trying to wait to close on the house. Yeah, so yeah. Like an underlying good. stress that you're not really harping on, but it's still there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it might just yeah. be being tired. I'm um. Like I'm that kind of tired where like my eyes feel really fuzzy. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like you can't fully focus. Yeah, exactly. But I am anyway. Cause... I'm waiting for. So, kind of off topic, but when you're like, um, tremors started. Mm -hmm. Did they happen to start like because when I wake up sometimes, like especially if I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm not like my body's not awake enough, I shake. Oh. Like I can feel weird. myself like shaking. Hmm. Yeah, like I'm like tremoring. Like if I if I wake up in the middle of the night, or if I'm like starting to fall asleep at night, and then something like stops me from falling asleep, my yeah. body like tremors. Oh well, I don't know because I first noticed it um, shortly after Heather and Gil moved in here when I was reading a book. I like ever, I I thought that it was like something with the way I was holding my neck because every time I'd be looking down at my book reading, my head would start like twitching really bad yeah and I thought that it was because of that and then I realized that it was just happening hmm so interesting yeah and then obviously you know it took me a while to realize exactly you know that it wasn't just regular whatever I don't yeah know. like neck spasms or yeah, muscle spasms yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah, parenting styles. I forgot that's what we're supposed to be talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, what about with, like, discipline? Like, I know I never spanked. No. Um, but I also never really did timeouts. Like, um, that was never, like, it, I, with the kids I watch, I've done a lot of timeouts. But timeouts was never something that I did with um, my own kids. Um, I don't... Okay, so timeout is... We, I do do timeouts, but they're kind of, they're not like what you think of when a lot of people think of timeouts, because it's not like you go sit by yourself and feel shame for what you've done kind of thing, you know? It's more like a, that, that sounds a little harsh, but... Yeah, um, <laughs> that's not how I know anybody who uses timeouts like that. Really? Like, no, for me, I, it's like... I don't know anyone who makes kids sit in, in shame. I just know that they, like, have them sit quietly until they can calm down from whatever they're freaking well, out Well, I know, well, I've never personally known anybody who does that, but that seems to be the way that the internet sees timeouts. Oh, okay. As, like, you sit in shame by yourself and be isolated because you did something bad. Like, that's the oh, way the internet I've never even had a kid be isolated from timeout. I've always uh -huh. had them be in the exact same room. They just have to sit down and, you know, like, chill. So, especially because I primarily am doing timeouts for hitting and, like, yeah. violent behavior. So it's oh, okay, you need to go stand over there away from, you know, your sibling or whatever, your cousin, whatever it is, and yeah. uh, not... Um, be not, within reach? <laughs> yeah, not, not be where you can hit them right now. Oh, see. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's the internet's, like, internet's very about, like, timeout shaming these days, where they act like, where, like, people seem to think that timeouts are, like, you shove them into a you know, an area by themselves and make them sit isolated and sad and, you know, feeling oh, bad yeah. about what they did kind of thing. No, see, I would never isolate um, a kid in timeout because then they're going to get up and not be in timeout. Like, do these people um, not know kids? I know, right? If you isolate um, a kid, they're going to get up and run off. Yeah, when we do, so I don't do timeouts. I never did timeouts with Augie. Um, I never did timeouts with Callie because Callie, uh, Callie never really did anything. Um... 
I do do timeouts with Lyric where, um, but they're like together timeouts. Like she has to sit away from her siblings because normally when she goes into timeout, it's because she's like yelling at one of her siblings mm -hmm. um, and she needs a minute to calm down. So her timeouts are like, I'll put her, um, like I'll bring her back to my bedroom and I'll sit with her and I'll sit next to her and tell her she needs to calm down and I'll sit with her and when she's ready to calm down, you know, she can talk and go back out there. Like we can talk and she can go back out there kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like supervised timeouts is kind of what I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I never I never did timeouts. What I always did, when they were really little, I would just kind of like redirect them because, you know, they're little kids. They're not really aware of what they're doing anyway. Right. Um, and then when they got a little bit older, it became um, taking away like privileges. Like, yeah. you know, if you're you know, in trouble, which my kids never really got in huge, like, my kids were never really, like, quote-unquote, bad. Like, they were always pretty well-behaved. So it wasn't really a situation most of the time where they had to go in timeouts or whatever. Um, but if they did, or I guess not even timeouts, because I didn't do timeouts, but, like, I would take away, you know, some sort of privilege for X amount of days. Like, mm -hmm. Almost like grounding, but not really grounding. Like, you know, no um, watching your favorite cartoon for two days, or you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, like some something that is something that they don't need, they just enjoy, and then like you lose that for X amount of time. Yeah, exactly. Um, or us it's usually like because we um hold on sorry uh i don't know like for us discipline is more it's it's not even so much discipline it's more just like we're gonna sit you down and we're gonna talk about whatever the issue is but it, like the only time when they really get in trouble is if they like yell at us or give us a lot of attitude mm -hmm. um because Augie especially has a problem with like yelling when he's angry. Mm -hmm. Um, so he will lose like um. I'm like, should we go to bed? It's getting late, huh? Yeah. Oh look, wine. Oh frickin' finally, we can put that in the clubhouse in the morning. Yeah. Um. Or the community anyway. center, I mean. Yeah, I knew what you meant. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. For us, it's it's kind of the same thing. Like, they'll lose because they get, um, you know, screen time uh, on the weekends. Like, they, they get basically unlimited screen time. Mm -hmm. So, they'll lose, like, a day of screen time if they're, like, really bad. Like, if they're screaming and being super disrespectful. Um, but normally, we don't really have to discipline them too much because they'll just, like they'll yell and they'll get angry, but then we can calm them down pretty quick and get handle of the situation. So it doesn't usually require, like, a lot of, like, you know, harsh discipline of any kind. Yeah. Um, mostly my kids, my, my kids' biggest issue is just, like, controlling their reactions to things when they get upset. But I don't really, I don't really so much want to punish them for that, you know, because, like, I just want to teach them to control their emotions, basically. Yeah. Uh, so and it's mine are older now, so yeah, you know, they don't really like. I never had like the um, the defiant teenager thing happening with my kids, so yeah, you know, so far Lucas is not a teenager yet, and if any one of my children is going to be a defiant teenager, it's going to be him. Yeah, <laughs> especially because like he has. Tyler, who is allowed to do many more things than Lucas is allowed to do, and so yeah. You know, then well, I and get... Salem had that with Lily, but Salem wasn't really yeah. But Salem didn't care. Yeah, Salem wasn't Salem interested. Salem was literally like, yeah, I don't care if my cousin can walk around town, you know, right? Do whatever. I genuinely do not care. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Whereas Lucas is the one who's going to be like, oh, every single day after school, Tyler gets to walk to blah, blah, blah and hang out with his friends until dark. Why don't I get to do that? Yeah. 
Too bad, because you don't. That's, that's yeah, it. now especially with middle school starting, it's like... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, I guarantee I'm going to be in for quite a battle with, oh, how come this person's parent lets them do this, but I don't get to do that. Well, because you don't, because I'm your mom yeah. and I said so. That's definitely, I don't know if you and I differ or the same in our parenting styles with that. I think we're more or less the same, but like I'm very much like... I genuinely do not care like even Heather used to like get on my case and tell me how bad she felt for my kids because they didn't get to do blah 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 but words cannot express how much I don't care yeah if my children yeah. cannot do something it's because I say they cannot do something it's and not, there's a reason yeah it, it's well and sometimes the reason is just because I said that they can't do that and it is a thousand percent not up for debate and I genuinely do not care what anybody else's opinion is on it like if you feel terrible for my children because they're not allowed to walk to the park by themselves at six years old well yeah too bad for you because right i don't care if you feel bad for my children i don't yeah like yeah, <laughs> you no, know it's, the same way it's, it's not well, that like, major that's like when um like I can guarantee that most people would think I was a spaz for, like, not letting Augie take walks around the apartment by himself, you know, because he's 10 years old, but, like... 10 years I'm old is young! Yeah, that I know, is young. But, a lot of, but a lot of people, like, a lot of kids are, like, walking to school by themselves and stuff at 10 years old, like... What? Yeah, like, Like, that's around a thing. where you live? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, even in, like, the bad neighborhoods that we walk through and, like, the better neighborhoods, we always see kids all the time just, like, walking home from, the, like, their schools. Oh, my to... gosh. Even here, the kids aren't allowed to walk home from school in elementary school. Yeah. Like, they have buses even if they live directly across the street from the school. Oh, nope, not here. Oh, well, my and gosh. here also, also here, most of the elementary schools go to eighth grade. There is no middle school at most of the schools here. Oh, okay. Wow. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's just so crazy that's, to me. Yeah, but I like, too. you know, that's, you know, I, whatever, like, different strokes, but yeah. I just, I'm not willing to let my kids wander around aimlessly or even wander around with a destination yeah. at this young of an age. I just, I'm not willing to do it. Nope, same. Um, I'm more than okay with being kind of a spaz. That's that's fine with me. Yep, me too. My, my I, kids feel safe, so. Yep, I am very unapologetic about it, and I, I'm borderline mean sometimes about it because I genuinely don't care if somebody yeah. feels oh so bad for my poor, neglected children who aren't allowed to go wander around town alone. They're yeah. okay, I promise you. Yeah, exactly. Well, and, like, I think we've just, we've, we've discussed a lot of things before about, like, you know, the, um, you know, our, our kids not being allowed to, like, well, not being, not being allowed, but, like, just, just very careful with, like, where our kids go and making sure that we know where they are at all times mm -hmm. and, you yeah, know, I'm... like, knowing their parents at least a little yes. bit, you know, and. Yeah, and I know that some parents don't really care that much about that and that's fine if you don't care that much about you know knowing the parents of your friends or your kids friends or knowing 100 percent where your child is at all times that's you know I what's mean, crazy though that's your prerogative what is you would think that like i um you would think that like with the fact that i got away with so much i did so much you know i was like I just kind of got to do whatever I wanted and I came out perfectly fine and nothing, you know, horribly traumatic ever really happened to me. You would think that I wouldn't be really a spaz about it. You know what I mean? Like I'd be. Yeah, except that it might be that you are the, for the same reason I am because I had way too much freedom and even though I was fine, I was put in situations multiple times where I could have not been. Yeah, that's very, very true. I definitely was put in a lot of situations where yeah, things like, very where, well could have gone wrong. Yeah, like, thankfully I had, like, remember Janet and the alcohol poisoning? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there, there were a lot of situations that if we hadn't been around the right people, could have turned out very differently. That's true, because so, I used to go to 
I used to go to parties all the time and mm -hmm. like get so completely wasted as a teenager. Yeah. And if I would have been around like, you know, the wrong people, who knows? Exactly. Or like, or like, um, I used to just go and stay at my friends' houses all the time. And like, mom didn't know a lot of their parents. Their parents could have turned, I mean, their parents were, most of them were like, you know, pretty great, but. Yeah, but they could have not been. Yeah, they could have been awful. They yeah, could have been in, like, like, danger. I, like, my friend's parents were thankfully decent people, um, even though mom didn't know them and she had no idea. Um, but, like, look at the adults that Tracy hung out with. Yeah. They were not yeah. decent people. Not even a little bit. Like, and mom had no idea who these 30, 40-year-old people were hanging out with her 12-year-old daughter. Yeah. And, you know, the things that Tracy was doing and just, I mean, so I feel like that's probably why you and I have that parenting style versus maybe our other sisters not having it. Because even Tracy is, like, not wanting Tyler to wander around town by himself. Yeah, she like, just is also isn't going to fight her ex on it. Well, no, she doesn't let him walk around, but... He does it at. No, but that's what I'm saying, is she's not going to be like, he can't do that at your house. Oh, yeah, well, because she can't. She tried to, yeah. and he was like, too bad, so sad, it's my house. Yeah. Uh, there you go. <laughs> but, so, you know, even she, I, and she's told me straight up that it's because she knows what happened when she was a kid, and, you know, like, all this stuff, and she doesn't want her son, you know, getting put in situations, or, you know, they're not necessarily the greatest kind of people around sometimes or you know what I mean like yeah and like I love Tyler and he's a great kid and I'm sure that he'll be fine but at the same time he's 11 years old and he's yeah. not always you know mature enough which I mean you know he's he's pretty you know he tells me all the time about things that he's um you know things that he's like watching out for and he's even like gone online to see where there could be like um people on like the the sex offender registry near his house to try to avoid those areas uh -huh. but at the same time well if you're a kid you can only do so much well that's what i was gonna say at the same time he's 11 years old so you know he's also told me stories of times where he thought that somebody was following him and he kind of freaked out and i mean he ran yeah. right home but he's only 11 yeah so you know that's that's the issue is you know i'm not saying that he shouldn't be allowed to walk down to his friend's house or you know whatever but like he, yeah it's it's you know it, it makes me nervous on behalf okay. you know on his behalf yeah well there were times when i was like younger and because i remember i don't even know where i heard it but i heard at one point from something that a good way to like, like a, if you're walking by yourself and you feel like somebody's like following you or watching you or like coming near you, uh -huh. to like turn and walk towards the nearest house and just like start walking up towards the door. Uh -huh. um, because they'll think that you're about to like go inside or like, you know, they'll think it's like your house or whatever. Yeah. Um, but there were lots of times when I was younger and I was walking around by myself where I felt the need to do that because... I felt like somebody was, like, following too close behind me or something. Mm -hmm. Or, like, I saw the same car go by, like, multiple times, and I felt like they were, like, watching me or following me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, and, like, not to be paranoid, and I hope that Tyler doesn't watch this because I don't want to freak him out, but, like, my whole thing is, yeah, it is really great to know who's on the sex offender registry and to be conscientious of that. Oh, absolutely. But at the same time, there are still going to be people out there who just haven't been caught yet. Yeah, yeah, there absolutely and are. And that is what I've explained to adults numerous times who say, oh, well, you know, I checked the registry and, you know, there's not anybody too close to my house. Sure, there's not anybody who's been caught too close to your house. Yeah. Exactly. That doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, exactly. You still have to teach your children. And, like, especially because around here, too many people get that mindset of, oh, it's a small town. It's safe. Nothing's going to happen. Literally, 
every single true crime story starts with, oh, it was a small, safe town. Yeah, yeah. And there's actually an entire podcast that's called Small Town Murders. Yeah. Be- and I mean, um, I'm not even necessarily concerned about murder. Well, I mean, I, no, I know I am, but, you know. It's actually not all murder. It's, oh, okay. it's other it's true crime things, too. That's just what it's called, yeah. Um, but, uh, there's, um, well, yeah, well, and that's the thing, too, is, like, when I was younger, my mindset was also, like, oh, well, I mean, like, I know everybody in this town. That doesn't mean anything. It's often the people that you know that, you know. Yeah, exactly. Knowing somebody does not mean anything. No, not anything at all. So, yeah. And I also think I got cocky after a while because I was around so many creeps with nothing happening to me. Right, exactly. And then you get, yeah, it's just, I don't know. And, like, obviously I'm not saying that every single, you know, that nobody should ever be, because, I mean, obviously I let, you know, I let Salem go places with his friends, you know, mm-hmm. like, walking around, you know, I... Well, yeah, at some, at some point in that some age, you have to let the reins go, but... Yeah, yeah. and, like, mm-hmm. Matthew literally takes off with his friends all the time, and I don't think twice about it. Yeah, but, well, I mean, and there's definitely a big difference between fresh out of elementary school and big grown man. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. And, like, I don't know, I just, I, I feel like it's... I feel like too many people are not as cautious as I wish that they were. Yeah. But, you know, um, what are you going to do? Okay, so, yeah, I don't know if there's really much to talk about when it comes to our parenting styles that are, um, like, Well, let's see. There's the discipline act, uh, factor, which you and I are, are different in discipline because you do do timeouts and I don't. Um Yeah. And I mean, well, to be fair, I do timeouts, like I've always done them with Tyler and I've always done them with the babies because they're not my children, so I can't take away their privileges. Yeah. Um, but all timeout is, is with Tyler, it was sitting on the couch. And the only reason that it, what? Oh, go ahead. The only reason that it went from sitting on the couch to standing over by like the staircase next to the bookshelf is mm. because Tyler would so often think that um okay would so often think that he was in timeout when he wasn't because he would just be sitting on the couch watching cartoons that finally I was like okay the the couch is not timeout anymore because it's confusing Tyler way too much yeah so um well for me the the thing too is that I do timeout with Lyric because she doesn't really have any privileges for me to take away right you know what I mean? Like, if I told her I was going to take away her tablet for a while, she'd be like, okay, and she'd play, but like, she wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like, it would have zero effect. So, for her, if I'm like, you need to walk away for a minute, because she, she likes to argue. If she is in a mood, she wants to scream and argue with her, sib- like, at her siblings. So, if I take her away from that and make her calm down, nothing pisses her off more. Like, oh, okay. like nothing, nothing is a worse punishment than not being able to continue screaming at her siblings. Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like Salem never really a, did anything to get in trouble sign. as a kid, really. Like, yeah. I don't know why, I just, I guess well, I got lucky there. Yeah, well, and that's what, like, my thing is, is that, like, a lot of the things my kids do that, that like get on my nerves aren't things that I can punish them for because it's more just about like their emotions than it is about them being bad because like Callie will freak out like if she thinks that like something isn't fair or she thinks that like someone is upset with her she will freak out and scream and cry and just be like so extremely dramatic but like I'm not gonna be like punishing her for her feelings so I'm just gonna be like hey you know you need to chill let's go sit and talk about this you need to learn to control this you know like and help her right with that kind of thing so like the only real things that I guess they could do that are considered bad are more just like not you know being young and not fully having control over their feelings and stuff yet yeah which you know um but yeah so I think, I, I don't know how I'm going to handle discipline when they're, like, your kids' ages, because 
I don't know what they're going to be like, you know, <laughs> like, right, I don't know exactly. what, what's going to affect them and what's going to, you know, make a difference to them and, yeah. Yeah, it's really going to depend on the kids, I would assume. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you, you have f freakishly good children, I think, too. I know, I do. I got Because <laughs> my, my kids are like spazzy and oh i'm sorry that's i guess an offensive word now um my kids are a lot what do you want to name our goat <gasps> herman okay we're gonna get two goats so what do you want to name our second goat um jedediah jedediah that's such a long name okay <laughs> Hey, we got an orange. I'm gonna go put that in the community center. Oh, nice. Okay. I love our fruit-bearing cave. I know it's so convenient. It's a Jedediah. Yep. I don't even know how to spell Jedediah myself. So good luck. <laughs> hmm. Keep all the clay. Yeah. I think we have a ton of clay, but probably. Mm, no, that doesn't look right. I think it's JD dot. Mm. That doesn't look right either. Okay, how about Jude? <laughs> oh, you want me to change it? <laughs> sure. Okay, Jude it is. Why are you uh, trying to be biblical with our goats? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because goats are representative of uh, Satan. So, oh. I'm being ironic. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. um. That's not actually why, but <laughs> that's the reason I'm going to give. Um... Oh, I know another way that we differ in parenting styles. I feel like I'm like so monotone tonight because I'm tired. You are. You're very monotone. I'm just so tonight. bored sounding. Oh, hey, little goat. Um, another way we differ with our parenting styles is you homeschool and I send my children to traditional school. That is true. Well, uh, with the exception of Salem now, but yeah. Um, which I mean. Pfft. I don't have an issue with these. Well, and okay, there there's another big difference. Um, I homeschooled um, for part of the time. Like Salem, Salem's been homeschooled since COVID, yeah. and Lucas was for a couple year or for a year and a half. Yeah. Um, but the difference is, you physically teach your children. You bust out workbooks and blah 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 blah. Whereas my yeah. kids do all online school because there's no way in hell I'm going to try to teach my children. <laughs> um, and that is a huge, huge, huge difference because you are very, very anti-online school and I am very, very, oh my god, someone else needs to teach these kids because I certainly am not a teacher. I wouldn't even say I'm anti-online school. I'm just, I know my kids wouldn't pay attention. Oh, you told me that you didn't want them to do online school because you felt like they'd spend too much time in front of screens. So I thought that you were just like anti, like it's not really. Fully uh, yeah, I mean, school. It's kind of, kind of. It's more like they would. I like if I walked away from them, they'd be like messing around doing other things on screens. Oh yeah, because when we talked about it, when I asked you if you did, like whatever I can't remember. It was when I was looking into online school for Salem, like way before, like before COVID even happened. Yeah. Um, when Salem was we already about have an orange doing school. Um, and I asked you if you'd looked into that program and you were like, no, I don't want my kids to do online school because I don't want them to be in front of screens for that long. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't want them to be in front of screens because they wouldn't be paying attention. They wouldn't be, oh God, they'd be like going, like, unless I was on top of them, they'd be like messing around trying to do other things on oh, there. Oh, okay. I thought it was they'd just because be... you didn't want them to be in front of a computer all day. Yeah, no, it has nothing to do with them, like, um, like the actual online aspect of it is more just to do with the, I don't trust them to actually pay attention and, like, be, like, there fully, you know? Oh. I don't think that we need an orange. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Oh. Well, hmm. I guess you can sell it. Yeah, I guess so. I, I think I'm going to save it, though, just in case I'm somehow missing it. I don't know. Hold on, I'll check the community center thing real quick right now. Oh, let's see. Pantry. Yeah, three times, but... No. 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 Um, no. Nope, I don't see anywhere where we need an orange either. Okay, I well then I guess. Alright. Well then, bye bye orange. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, it's more of like a... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I worded it quite how I meant it. Because it's more of like just a... Like knowing that being in front of a screen wouldn't be ideal for them. And they wouldn't be like... Like, they'd be too, like, you know what I mean. Distracted, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> but if, if if I thought that they could sit down and actually, like, learn and focus that way, I would not hate that idea at all. I might actually do that with, like, um, like, there have been, oh, what was that? Like, they did, um, they both did ABC Mouse for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, that was actually pretty pretty good and pretty helpful because it was like games and stuff you know yeah um but augie has aged out of that now so oh yeah i might get it this year again for cali and lyric though well um, like my kids used to come home from school and play cool math games on the computer which is a program that they use at school and I would yeah. strongly encourage that one because my kids are not great at math. And so anything that could, like, help them when it came to math, I yeah. was all for. Um, but after a while, they outgrew that, so. Yep. But, okay, what about, like, um, uh, what is the word that I'm looking for? like allowing them to watch certain like kinds of tv shows and movies and stuff um augie um augie like i don't know augie watches like horror movies and um like stranger things and stuff like that because he's always been really into like horror like mm -hmm. he's he's a horror kind of kid yeah Lucas um too. And Callie, I mean, Callie, I, I kind of, I don't know, like, I don't really restrict what they watch very much, but they also, like, Augie will, like, if I, like, you know, um, look on Augie's phone, um, occasionally I'll look at his search history because, yes, I am the mom that kind of occasionally checks in on what my kid's doing on his phone because he's 10, um, <laughs> and, uh, when I look on his search history, he'll be looking up things like, is this movie appropriate for kids? Is this show appropriate for kids? Or, like, he'll come up and, like, ask me, like, Mom, does this have anything bad in it? Am I allowed to watch this? So, like, he doesn't try to, like, watch things sneakily, you know? Yeah. Um, and so, most of the time, unless something is, like, horribly, like, you know, like, I'm not gonna, like, have him be watching, like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that would be like shameless or something, you know, like something. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna be. It's got with you. crazy amounts of like sex and drugs and. Oh stuff yeah, in like it. Euphoria. Like I'm not gonna let. Yeah. People just watch Euphoria. Yeah, exactly. But like things like Stranger Things or like um. I'm trying to think of another one that. I don't know. Like I, I, as long as something isn't like too far, like too much then I'll usually just let my kids watch it. And otherwise, they're just like, okay, whatever, I won't watch that one. I'll watch that one when I'm older. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, Lucas gets mad because I tend to draw the line at rated R things. Um, yeah. And, you know, he's like, I don't understand why I can't watch it. Tyler watched it, and I'm like, yeah, I understand that. Like, I got mad because he watched something, can't remember what at Tracy's that I specifically said he was not allowed to watch and they watched anyway um and I remember being very mad about it 
And like Lucas is constantly asking me if I'll let him watch Jackass. And I'm like, buddy. Except he doesn't say Jackass. He just says Jack and then looks at me because he knows he's, he knows he's not allowed to swear. Um, <laughs> yeah. But like he watched Titanic complete with a freaking topless scene at like yeah. three years old because I forgot about that topless scene. And <laughs> when he was obsessed with Titanic. Um, well, like. Because I think we saw a book at the library, and he became obsessed with the ship, and he asked if there was a movie about it. And when I looked it up on Netflix, because at the time, all that we had was Netflix, there was a documentary that was, like, black and white and kind of boring. Um, And then there was the movie. And I was like, we can watch the movie together, but I think you'll like it. And I was half paying attention, and then all of a sudden, Mm. there's boobs on the screen. And I was like, oh, whoops. Uh. Yeah. But, well, yeah, and he didn't care. Right, right. Well, and that's like, um, like, uh, okay, I like, I let Wog, uh, I let Woggy, I just said Woggy, <laughs> um, I let Augie watch, like, Danny, like Danny Gonzalez. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He loves his videos. Yeah, but I love Danny Gonzalez. I was like, Og, don't watch this, you know, the hardest flexor on earth one? No, I'm not sure if I've seen that one. The one yet. with the guy. Oh, well, he's I'm like. I'm not a... caught up at all on Danny Gonzalez. I'm trying. Oh, they're to. they're not new. It's oh, not okay. A new. Well, then probably. It's the one where the guy is like. Uh, my balls tugged on one by one. You know that. Oh that guy. yeah, that. Guy. Yeah. yeah, I was like, don't watch that one. <laughs> and like that's you know, and then there's like one other one that I told him not to watch. But other than that, you know, I I don't mind him watching those. So you know what I mean? It's just like. Yeah, I'll let him watch things, but he's he's happy to let me set limits, and he he's like, he's pretty good about like listening to the limits that I set. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, I'm uh, but like, for instance, Super Troopers. I used to quote Super Troopers to my kids all the time, <laughs> but they genuinely had no idea. Why did I just do that? No idea what you were talking about. <laughs> Why did I just Actually, do that? We needed that. What'd you do? I donated a stupid duck egg. <gasps> oh no. It's all right. we'll have one Was it a large one? No. Oh, we need a large one. That's right. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we need No, it. wait, no. A duck egg, we just need a regular duck egg. Whatever, it's fine though. Um, um, but you yeah, can like I, uh, mm. I, um, what did I do? Oh, I used to quote Super Troopers to my kids all the time, and they had no idea what I was talking about because they were not allowed to watch Super Troopers. Right. And still to this day, they've never watched Super Troopers because they're still too young for Super Troopers. Matthew is 20, and I still don't want him watching Super Troopers because he's too young for Super Troopers. But, um, um, you know, so I I have certain things that I would prefer to not have them watch at their ages. Yes, I like that a lot. Um, yeah. Well, and like, um... Like, Augie, um, is also really good at separating, like, reality from, like, you know what I mean? Like, from, fa- or from real life, or no, from real life, from fiction is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, so, when he watches, like, um, like, horror movies and stuff, like, he, he likes to also look up, like, um, behind the scenes and, like, so look up the Lucas actors. interviews. Yep. Yeah, interviews, stuff and like that. So I've like, been really big on that kind of stuff, too. So, like, that's another reason why I'm, like, okay with him, you know, like, watching, like, some horror movies and stuff is because, one, they don't scare him, and two, he's very aware of, like, these are fine for entertainment value, but obviously none of this stuff is, like, sh- you know, like, violence is not okay in real life, you know, and yeah. all of this is just fake, you know, kind of stuff. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, I, uh, what about video games, like, violent video games and things like that? 
Um, see, I've never had to, um, really worry about that because Augie's never really been into, like, first-person shooters or anything like that. Like, he's, yeah, he likes, like, Roblox and Minecraft and, yeah. <laughs> like, he it tried to play Fortnite to once way. and just was, like, not into oh, it. Oh, God, Fortnite is not really violent, though, at all. It's way too cartoony to be considered violent. I wasn't thinking things like Fortnite. I was thinking things like, um... Um, that, that's great, Elliot. I was thinking things like um, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. And, yeah, Augie did like actually that, uh, Fortnite. That's like a little kid game. Augie did also just whisper to me that he does like Call of Duty, apparently, but I don't. I, he never plays that, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah. See, and I was always violently opposed to games like Call of Duty. Yeah, I don't like, like I don't like shooting games because like that. I just um, won't like guns. Really bother me a lot. Yeah, um, um, and I, I hate them, and I actually refused to have an Xbox be in my house for years because they're primarily shooting games. And like Grand Theft Auto, I won't let my kids play Grand Theft Auto. Um, but then, once again, sorry Tyler for calling you out for literally everything, but Tyler... Um, convinced Lucas that all that he wanted in the world was an Xbox and then really thought that I didn't know anything about GTA and assured me that it was in no way shape or form violent and it oh, was just geez, a game where you that. drive oh man and I was like Grand Theft Auto has been around since we were yeah majors. I used to play Grand Theft Auto I know what you do in that game yeah and uh, the Xbox that Lucas got came with Grand Theft Auto yeah. Um, See, I don't know. Oh, you might to play Grand Theft Auto. I had a rule. Oh. Did you do hear that? No, what did he say? I said, Augie, oh, when did you play Grand Theft Auto? And he said, never. <laughs> Apparently, he just likes it. He's never actually played it, though. Oh. What? I thought you said oh. you liked it. I never. Or not Grand Theft Auto. I'm sorry. I meant Call of Duty, not Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I played it when. I used to play it a lot when we lived in. Um. Oh, did you you played it? Oh yeah, you played it with Dad that one time in the front room, and then you played it a few times after that, huh? I think actually forgot about that. Fifty times. Fifty times. I actually yeah. forgot that you played Call of Duty for a while. Yeah, I uh, I've always been, but like, um, I told. I Lucas guess that was more of his dad and dad's and me. <laughs> um, I told Lucas that if he played Grand Theft Auto, he had to be like, like I literally would sit in the living room with him because I made him keep the Xbox down in the living room for the longest time and if he walked up and like just randomly killed somebody on the street for no reason I would take it away from him and make him quit playing <laughs> whoa that was weird my thing just like caught up to you watering and you just went really fast across the field oh that's so funny um, when that happens but yeah like I would get pissed I was like no you don't need to just walk up and just murder somebody on the street you're not going to play this game if that's how you're going to act yeah like and that's the thing is like I don't like the whole I, I don't like the whole. I, I know it's just video games, but why? What is what is the whole like? This game is nothing but shooting people. Like, why is that a game? Yeah. I don't understand it. Like, there are games that have like objective. Well, I mean that game well, has yeah, some objectives, has but of objectives and a whole that game actually. And... Yeah, that game actually has a really anti-drug objective, actually. Yeah, and I mean. Um, so, like, but, my whole thing was, like, I didn't care if he did the missions. I didn't care if, you know, he tried, because, you know, like, there's certain times where, like, you have to get, get up to five stars for a mission and, you know, have the most amount of cops chasing you and then, um, and then, you know, escape them or whatever. Yeah. But I would literally tell him, go rob a convenience store, do what you have to do. If you walk up and kill somebody on the street, I'm taking it away from you. And I would. Yeah. Like, I, well, it's ridiculous because it's a video game, but, like, no, I don't want my kid desensitized to walking up and murdering someone on the street. Like, yeah, well, that, that's the thing is, like, why, like, I don't, I just, I don't see the entertainment value in that. Like, I don't understand why that's, like, a, a thing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> But I guess I, you know, I completely forgot that Augie used to play Call of Duty because he saw Jay watching or watching it and playing it one time and asked him if he could play with him and he said yes. And then I think he's exaggerating when he says he played it like 50 times after that, but he definitely played it a few times after that. 
But he's never been into shooting games since then, so I couldn't have, you know, made too much of an impact on him. <laughs> In his yeah. taste. Right Lucas's now he likes to play. games are back and forth. Sometimes it's Roblox, sometimes it's Fortnite, sometimes it's Grand Theft Auto, sometimes it's Fall yeah. Guys. Like, literally it's, it's everything and anything. Um... And, like, I'm not one of those people who thinks that video games makes children violent. I don't no, think that my kid not. is going to play well, a shooting game and suddenly and that, try to shoot people. Yeah, and I think the thing, too, is that, like, like people were so paranoid about that when we were younger, mm -hmm. but we grew up with people playing those video games who are perfectly fine, non-violent people now. And we're, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, like, I'm not, it's not... That's not the kind of thing that I'm worried about. Um, no, it's not that. It's just that... There's already so much, like, 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 okay, when a school shooting happens, it absolutely breaks my heart, and I, it's horrible, and I feel terrible for the parents, but it's not surprising to me anymore. Right. And I don't like that. I don't like that it's not surprising to me, and I don't like that, like, just, like, the violence is just, like, such a meh, like, not meh, but, you know, like, it's not, it's so normal now to me. Like, I'm just so used to it that, like... It doesn't surprise me anymore, and it's disgusting. Yeah, exactly. So. Oh, 6 p.m. Dang it. I keep trying to go to stores when they're, like, way past closed. Oh, yeah. I just feel like a lot of my, like, I try to keep a lot of my parenting basically just, like, not too extreme to either way, except for when it comes to, like, me being paranoid about, like, safety and stuff. Yeah. And by safety, I mean, like, not letting them, you know, go walk around by themselves and stuff, but... Right. Well, and I feel like I'm super lax in some departments and super not lax in other departments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, not, like, dangerously lax, but, like, my kids have literally never had a limit to their, like, like, being on their phones or their computers or video games or whatever. Yeah. As long as, you know, like, if I say, hey let's go for a walk or hey why don't we go to the beach or the park and I get no I want to play video games that's where there's an issue but that's right. never been an issue if I say to Lucas Luke let's go to the beach he'll say to his friends gotta go go on the beach and get off and be gone without a second right thought. yeah well but, my kids would do the same thing they would definitely prefer to be out doing uh, things over sitting home but like I'm also not going to tell them hey even though we're at home you are not allowed to watch TV or go on your phone, especially when I'm working. Yes, I can work from home 90% of, you know, like obviously not my job now, but you know, the job that I've had for the last six years has been all working from home, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we can run to the park all the time because sometimes, you know, I've got too many kids to watch them all at the park or sometimes like Vincent, he is not good at the park. Like he is mean and he shoves and sometimes I don't want to bring him to the park. Right. Or his asthma is acting up and he can't be outside in the, you know, with the weather the way it is. Or, you know, yeah. situations like that. I'm not going to tell my kids that they can't like do whatever, play their Xbox or the Switch or whatever they're doing, go on their computers because I don't want them around a video game when they literally have to just sit in the house. So, you have to sit in the house. I'm going to let you at least do something fun while you're in the house. And I mean, you mm. know, sometimes Lucas will be like, nah, you know, I'm going to, want let's play this board game or, you know, whatever. Or he's like, or uh, there's certain books that he likes and he'll just be like sitting upstairs reading the book instead. But... I'm also not going to tell him, you know, you need to spend this amount of time reading and you need to spend this amount of time, you know what I mean? I'm just going to say, behave, and when I say that we're going somewhere, don't complain. Ah, uh, yeah, see, no, I'm different. I absolutely will tell my kids they have a limit because, yep. I, you know, they, they have other things that they enjoy doing and I'm not going to have them, like, just personally, I, I just, I feel like they're going to lose all of their inter other interests that they have because all they're going to want to do is that. And I'm, I don't know. I don't know. That bothers me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my kids um, haven't lost any of their interests. But I suppose some kids might do that. 
Well, Augie hasn't read a book. Like, he's gotten, like, four new books since he got his phone, and he hasn't read a single one of them, and he used to read all the time. He used to love reading. And he hasn't read a single one of his new books because now he has a phone, and that's all he wants to do. See, and Lucas is not a big reader at all, but when he asked me to buy him a book at um, the store the other day when we went to go get my, my clothes for work, um, yeah, I bought him the book and he immediately read it and they he yeah. and Salem have both like gone back and forth reading it like four times and a lot of the time when Lucas is on his phone he's reading a book on his phone yeah see no that's see that's I and wish same thing <laughs> with um with Salem so, but Augie will just be my Augie, Augie will just mindlessly scroll TikTok for hours he doesn't like read anymore he doesn't I don't know he Oh, okay, yeah. See, my kids, like, they definitely still, like, at no point have they, like, lost their interest in doing the things that they still like to do. Like, yeah, I've always, see, and if, they, if they've my always kids had a good, could, healthy balance. If my kid could find a balance, like, if my kids could, you know, find a balance and not be obsessive every single well, time. maybe Matthew. Matthew might be less, but when he was younger, but now that he's older... Well, right. I guess sometimes, because sometimes he's just laying in his bed listening to music. Yeah. So. Well, and like, that's, that's the thing, is like, when they get a little old, like, when they get older, obviously, if your main interest in life turns out to be, you know, whatever involving media, and you can find a way to, like, you know, we like, but I just, for now, I want the them to explore other options and other interests and not just be so stuck on their phone that they never try anything else and never do anything else you know like mm -hmm. they're they're really they have no balance they have no sense of balance when it comes to it no, and it drives me absolutely crazy like, you know, they like to go hang out with their friends they like to go on water my kids don't have friends <laughs> oh right yeah so there's that yeah yeah, we, we definitely have, uh, we, we have a balance, but, you know, we also have a lot less, like, strict limits with the, with the video games or whatever, but, you know. What's happening here? Sometimes Lucas will just randomly go in his closet and get out his art set and paint a canvas. Yeah, Callie will do that. Sometimes. Not, not so much if I just let her be on screen, so... That's another thing. Callie's like really good at art and she really enjoys art. But on days when she's allowed to have screens, she won't do anything like that involves. And um Lyric is just now starting to like like be into screens and stuff, but she's not really at the point yet where it's become like a problem. Like she'll still play and like, you know, want to do other things. Um, she'll just, like, she'll put something on and then eventually she'll just kind of wander away from it. Um. Where did you get pine so, tar from? I don't know. It was being made in the thing Oh, the there. tapper? The tapper finally worked? Or yeah. finally finished? Okay. Yeah. I was trying to so. find, um, because I have a second tapper. I was trying to find a maple tree so we could get maple syrup too, but I can't find one. Aw. What are the maple trees? I wonder the if with the I thinner can... brown trunks. Yeah, I was gonna say I wonder if um like they sell them at the store and we could plant one. No, we usually get the the maple seeds, which I'm sure we have one. Oh, we might have sold all the maple seeds, I'm not actually sure. No, we might have sold all See. Them. That's fine, another one will grow eventually. It's not that big a deal. Um, well, but yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Oh, no, there's more bait. We definitely, definitely differ when it comes to, uh, to screen time and, like, limits on that. Yeah, for sure. But again, different kids, so. Yeah, I just do not care to put, you know, limits. I used to try to do it, like, in the summer, but... Um, when, like, before we had a pool in the backyard, there was a swing set, but Bob got rid of everything. Everything that kids could use in the backyard, he got rid of, and then made it impossible for the kids to even go in the backyard. 
And so it's like, okay, then what am I supposed to do? I can't right. take them to the park every single day. I can't take them to the beach every single day because there's way too many kids at my house. Mm-hmm. So what are my kids supposed to do at that point? Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, and that's, that's kind of why... Um, that's kind of why I, I have them do other things throughout the day, you know, like... Mm-hmm. I tell them, like, hey, you've been on screens for a while, you need to, like, find something else to do for a little while. But that's why I'm not, like, you can only have this m- amount of screens per day. Oh, um, you don't do that anymore? No. Oh, no. I didn't know that. No, I haven't done that for, like, quite a long time now. Oh. No. They will they can do whatever they want for the most part, like, you know, like, be on screens and stuff. It's just... I make them, like, take breaks and do other things occasionally because otherwise their heads are going to be nothing but buried. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, we take breaks all the time. We're constantly leaving and going and doing stuff. And Lucas oh, see, we don't... just come downstairs because he'll be like, I don't feel like playing my Xbox and I'm bored. What should I do? And Vivian oh, will be like, mm-hmm. let's play Apples to Apples. And he'll say, all right. And then we'll play <laughs> Apples to Apples like six times. Or, oh, oh no. see, mine... Mine have to be told, though, to take breaks. Um, they don't really just do it on their own. Oh, yeah. No, Lucas is um, really good about And we also um, <laughs> rarely go anywhere, but, you know, when we do, obviously, we'll take breaks. Although Callie will be like, can I take my tablet? And I'm like, no, you can't take your friggin' tablet to go hiking. <laughs> oh, my God. Vivian and Vincent will drive me nuts with that. Like, we'll literally just be, like, driving to pick up Mom for physical therapy and they'll be like, can we bring our tablets? And I'm like, guys, you don't need your tablets for a five minute car ride, but it's because the minute they get in their mother's truck, immediately one of them will say, mom, can I have your phone? And she gives one of them the phone and then whoever had it on the way to my house, the, the other one gets it on the way home from my house. Mm. And like, what's crazy to me about that is they have a DVD player in their car. So they could watch a movie in their car as well but they need mom's phone, mom's phone. And like, I remember Vincent like walking in the door, like walking up the stairs, still holding um, the phone and like watching whatever he's watching. And you know, obviously his mother has to take the phone back because she has to go to work and he would throw such a fit. And now they both have tablets and actually it's like their third or fourth tablets um, oh, that they bring every day, but then they still want to watch YouTube on my TV, or Vivian wants my pink phone that she calls it, my old iPhone that I have. Yeah. And it's like literally nonstop. If if Vincent's tablet dies, he will be on my floor wailing that there's nothing oh, to geez. do. And I'm like, yeah, see, color a That's picture. That's the problem. That's the thing is, I don't want my kids to get to that point where I'm constantly like giving them the tablet or giving them screens whenever they want it, and they don't know how to function without it. And, uh, well, so because of that, I got a bunch of construction paper, markers, coloring books, and crayons, and now both kids will willingly put down their tablets before they're even, like, dead or anything so that they can draw and color. Yeah. Because that was the problem, is I had this basket full of toys, but they kind of got bored with the toys. They don't really touch the toys at all. Um, And we have board games, but you can't always play board games. Like, if none of the other kids want to play board games or, you know, I'm in the middle of doing something and I can't sit and play apples to apples with them six times, you know, board games aren't always a possibility. Yeah. And Vincent will not play with Vivian at all unless somebody else is playing. Like, if, if I'm playing or, like, Lucas is playing. But if just Vivian wants to play with Vincent, he will not do it. He won't let her sit next to him. He won't let her Aww. talk to him. He won't let her look at him. Uh, nothing. Sad. The only time that he will go near Vivian is if his tablet dies and she still has her tablet so that he, you know, can make her watch whatever YouTube video he wants to watch, like on her tablet. Yeah. Um, other than that, he will not go anywhere near her. And uh, so I got, you know, like all the construction paper, the coloring books, all that kind of stuff. So that that way they would quit freaking out if their tablets died or something. And that worked so well because now Vincent is constantly drawing pictures. Yeah, that's I love that. Yeah, and I mean the minute they get in their mother's truck, it's immediately, Mom, 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 can we have your phone, can we have your phone? But, you know, 
whatever, at least here there's a little bit of not because well, yeah, see, but I mean, I don't really care that much. Like, number one, they're not my kids. It's not my place to say what they can and cannot do, you know, when it comes to electronics. If their mother doesn't want to limit it, I don't care. It's it's her choice. Well, you just um, said you don't limit them. So. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was going to say is I don't limit it with my kids. So I'm certainly not going to say that she should limit it with her kids. The only issue I have with that is if you're going to throw yourself on the ground and scream because you don't have... Like, the couple times that he's forgotten his tablet or, like, he used to have this phone that he brought and it got lost. Yeah. If you're coming in my door and you're shrieking and screaming because you forgot your switch or you forgot your phone or you forgot the tablet. Yeah. That's the only issue that I have is don't scream your head off and act like your world is ending because you don't have this tablet. Like, I have a TV. Watch cartoons. Like, it's not that many. <laughs> and, like, literally right. you can watch... YouTube on my TV if you desperately right. need to be watching YouTube. Well, and like that's uh. Hold on. I'm petting all of our. I'm petting all of our animals. Um. But yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing is like I want. I want the kids to not be like dependent on. On that. Oh, yay, duck egg. Um. And. Um. And I just feel like. Like, sometimes it gets to that point where, like, they, they can't handle, like, if I tell them no about it. And that's when I'm, like, that's that's kind of when I decided it was an issue was when it got to the point where I would tell them to stop and they'd, like, throw a fit about it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that's when I started having to tell them, like, okay, we need to take breaks. We need to not be on this all the time because clearly you can't handle it. Yeah. Um, so that's why I ended up having to, like, start taking breaks. And... You know, I wish that they could do it without that, <laughs> but in the past, it's never been shown that they can, so. Yeah. Um, but also, um, I think that, um, I'm gonna go check in here for something real quick. Uh, oh man, it's closed on Wednesdays, I hate it. Um, oh, but yeah, yeah, anyway, that's the, that's the thing for me, is I just feel like when they, they lose all of their other interests otherwise, and I'm, I can't have that. <laughs> um, there's like nothing laying around today. Oh, I'm gonna go check the cave, that's what I'm gonna go do. Anyway, do you have any other, uh? subjects we've talked about screen time for a really long time <laughs> yeah we have because that's like the biggest difference yeah and it's funny because you are the only one out of all four of us with kids that limit screen time yeah and yet you were the one that was raised with the most amount of technology <laughs> yeah well but like i i i like okay so that that might be a part of it too though or well why did you say too though like that that might be a part of it um too though is like i um when i got like a, a computer and myspace and stuff mm -hmm. i like that's all i ever did like i remember how i used to love like drawing and writing poetry and all that stuff mm -hmm. I, I never i stopped doing that like i stopped drawing i stopped writing i you know Oh, wow. Like in my free, like even in my free time now, I'll find myself scrolling TikTok instead of reading a book. He like, I like you know, like I don't, I don't like, yeah, I don't like when, I don't like how I lost all of my interests for a long time and kind of like, like I if I would have kept going with like my drawing and my art and stuff, I'd probably be so much better now than I am, <laughs> but I didn't because I got a computer and started doing nothing but messing around online all the time and that's all I ever wanted to do and I lost all my hobbies. Yikes. Yeah, so uh, that actually might have something to do with it, <laughs> is me growing up with it. Do. I walked over here to do something and I totally forgot what it was. Why can't we get this out of here? But yeah, I don't know. I uh... But also, when I was, like, it drives me crazy because I don't want to be, like, 
an old person, but when I was a kid, yeah, I had the option to play video games and watch TV and stuff, but like, I didn't always. I wanted to play with toys. I wanted to play outside. I wanted to like use my imagination and I don't see my kids doing those things that often and it drives me nuts. Yeah. And I know that that makes me sound like an old person back in my day, but you know, like, it just bothers me. I want them to have more interests, I guess, than I think, you know what I think too has to do with it mm. is the fact that I never like, but like, that's the thing too, is you can make a career out of like video games. You can make a career out of like the internet, you know, like, yeah. Can like you can, do. yeah. Like it's it's definitely something that like I don't want my kids to not get into because it's awesome in a lot of ways. Like it's really really important. You know, like they need to be well versed in like the internet and technology and all that stuff for sure. Yeah. Um, like the fact that Augie like edits videos and he's like really good at. It. Have you watched his TikTok videos? Um, yeah, I watch his TikToks. Yeah, like I love the videos that he edits. I'm like so proud of them and I want to share them with everybody. <laughs> um, but. Um, I think that also when I was younger, like I was never given a lot of opportunity to try a lot of other things. Like I didn't really get to join any sports cause we didn't have the money for it. I didn't really get to join any clubs or, you know, like activities or like be in gymnastics. Like I wanted to or anything cause we didn't have the money for it. So now I'm like, you guys need to like find, like, I guess I was upset because I never found like a passion in life that some people have. Mm -hmm. And so I guess I'm like, kind of I guess I'm kind of projecting those issues onto my kids where I'm like you guys should find something that like you really love and are passionate about yeah yeah <sighs> all right well that's another thing we can talk about with the parenting style do you like push your kids to do certain things or do you just let them no do their own well you sort of do because you just said you push them to like find something that they're passionate about or to do a sport or do an activity or do something like that or like that I... like do you push them to like decide what they want to be and not really push them to decide what they want to be but like you know ask them frequently what they want to be when they grow up or like you know talk oh. to them about like basically you know oh ooh. We do it. Okay, I gotta go get the tapper. What do we have? Oh, I just <gasps> found a maple tree. Oh, yay, that's exciting. Yeah, so I'm gonna go put the tapper on it. I don't know how long it takes, but eventually there'll be maple syrup in that thing. No, um, I don't push them to do like, anything. Um, well, not like push, like literally sit, like force them, like you have to do this activity every single day of the week, but like, you know, basically hey, you have to pick a extracurricular and this is what you're going to do kind of thing. Um, no, more like Because at just... one point, I had my kids where they all picked, like, you know, every single one of them had one extracurricular that they did. Um, yeah. We had Girl Scouts, we had Boy Scouts, we had, um, like, dance. Um, you know, Matthew did his plays. And... I didn't like I didn't sit them down and force them but I straight up told them each one of you can pick one extracurricular activity after school you know whether it's Girl Scouts Boy Scouts a sport you know dance you know the plays with Matthew but my thing was they were only allowed to pick one because I didn't want them to because remember at one point Liliana did so many that for like years she refused <sighs> to do any yeah. And I didn't want them to feel, like, over overwhelmed with it. So yeah. my rule wasn't so much you have to do an extracurricular. It was you're only allowed to pick one per year, oh. and you can change it every year if you want or stick with the same thing. But I don't want you to do so many that you feel like, like you're too overwhelmed. You know what I mean? Like, overwhelmed with. Yeah. Okay, so... So, yeah, you don't mean, like, one, like, a particular one, just, like, Yeah, no, general? yeah, no, I don't mean, like, do you um, push, like, oh, I never got to do ballet, so I'm going to make my kids do ballet. Not that kind of push, <laughs> but, like, tell your kids, you know, hey, you can do as many as you want, or, 
I'm demanding no. that you do this many or you can choose one, but you don't have to do one. You know what I mean? Like some people are like, you have to do an extracurricular. Like <laughs> I remember Heather and Gil said, oh, if we make sure that Liliana is doing, um, doing all these like sports or different things like this, she won't have time to be getting in trouble or doing drugs. That was right. like their mindset. Yeah. Um, so, you know, some parents are, you know, have that kind of mindset where I'd rather have my kid be in every sport known to man than out, you know, impregnating half the town or, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, Liliana going out impregnating half the town. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that, that was more for boys, I suppose. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, they were more, oh, she won't, you know, she won't have time or energy to get in tons of trouble if we have her doing a different sport or whatever every single day. Right. But then, you know, after a while, she was like, oh, my God, if you make me do one more thing, I'm... Yeah, you know. I'm just going to lay in bed for the rest <laughs> right. of my life. Right, I'm you know. just going to lose it. <laughs> um, okay, so for us, it's like, because we get the school funding. Oh, right, yeah, so, so you guys get... For us, it's kind it of one? like... What? Like one, like, extracurricular kind of thing? You can do whatever you want with the money. Oh, we could okay. use the money so you for all as many as you want? We could... Yeah, okay, but you gotcha. know, you have a certain amount of money. Right, um, right. Like right now, the amount of money that we have left would fund seven months of like Taekwondo for each kid. Oh, okay. Um, and then they get another drop of funding in the middle of the year, so huh. it'd be even more. Um, oh, that's but that's like cool. after that's like after yeah that's like after I bought all of their curriculum and all of their school supplies and stuff too. It's it's really really cool. That is um, really cool. But like, um. Yeah, and people hate charter. <laughs> um, but, uh... Really? But, like, the thing... Yeah, people hate charter schools, and that's what that's what you have to home... Like, that's what you have to do in um, California to homeschool, is you have to homeschool through a charter school. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get, like, your funding and everything, so... Yeah, yeah people, people hate people it. People hated charter schools. Oh, yeah, look it up. You should Google it eventually. Wow. People hate them. Um, but, uh... Anyway, so... We, um... We are basically like, listen, guys, like, we have this opportunity where you guys can, like, this is like a great privilege, mm -hmm. you know, where, where you guys can do these ex extracurriculars that we might not otherwise be able to afford. Right. Um, so, like, we would definitely, you know, like, we'll tell them, like, here are some options that fit our schedule. Here are some things we might be interested in. Do you want to pick any of these? And if they were to be like, the no, none of those interest me. Like, I really don't want to do any of them. We'd be like, uh, all right, you know, fine. <laughs> you know, like, right. whatever. You know, maybe I'll buy you some, like, you know, cookbooks. Because I know Augie likes learning to cook. So we bought him some cookbooks and, you know, all that. You know, stuff like that. But, yeah. um, but you know, we we kind of do like we give them options and we kind of encourage them like hey you know like maybe you should try a new thing and if you end up not liking it yeah, you can stop doing like, it push but, them you know. to do it is like you know hey you know you should definitely at least try it because that's my whole thing is like yeah if you express interest in it i'm gonna make you try it you if you don't like it after you know the season's done you don't have to keep doing it yeah exactly it's, um, yeah, that's exactly the thing, is, like, I'll encourage it, you know, if they really don't want to, I won't force it, but if they show interest, then I'll be like, all right, let's do this, and then if you end up saying I hate this, then, you know, yeah. we'll stop paying and you'll stop going. It's not really that big of a deal. Well, you know, maybe we'll switch to something else kind of thing. Yeah. But, well, I have to yeah. say, it was easier when it was Salem, because, like, yeah, granted, Salem and Lily did tend to do, like, dance and stuff together, mm -hmm. but, um, when Salem didn't want to... Salem just didn't do it. Or if Lily didn't yeah. want to, Salem didn't care and would still do it. And like when Lily was in baseball or basketball or whatever, if Salem didn't want to be in it, Salem wasn't in it. With yeah. Lucas and Tyler, it's different because Lucas or Tyler will literally like convince Lucas that he definitely wants to do whatever sport or whatever it is. Like sometimes Lucas will be like, absolutely not. I don't want to do that. I don't care about it. But yeah. sometimes Tyler will be like, well, you really need to join this sport with me, blah, 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 blah. Like, Lucas has been obsessed with basketball since he was old enough to pick up a basketball. And yeah. he was pretty good at it. And at one point, he was, as soon as he got to the age where I could sign him up for basketball, he asked me to sign him up for basketball. And before I even got a chance to, Tyler told him that he should just do baseball with him instead. And so Lucas 
decided that he didn't want to do basketball anymore. He wanted to do baseball. And I tried to explain to him that Tyler has been playing baseball since preschool. And maybe you don't want to start baseball never playing it in your entire life now that yeah. you're, you know, at the older A age. A little bit older. Yeah. Um, and he was dead set. And I was like, all right, fine. I'll sign you up for it. Well, then COVID happened. So we didn't end uh, up yeah. doing it. Um, but it was kind of frustrating because it was like basketball was his sport. That is what he loved. It's what he truly enjoyed. It's what he wanted to do. And he was talked out of doing it because his cousin wasn't going to do it. And that's the one thing that drives me nuts when it comes to Lucas is it's like instead of just doing his own thing that he actually likes to do, he lets other people convince him to do what they're doing because they think that he should do what they're doing. And it's not yeah. always Tyler. It could be, you know, any one of his friends. And it's like, buddy, just play the sport that you want to play. Do the thing that you want to do. Right, not right. Not just whatever your friend is doing. But now he doesn't want to do any kind of sports. And Bob got rid of his basketball hoop, so I think that kind of, like, discouraged him. Ah, oh, that makes me sad. Yeah, it made me sad, too. We literally, I'm not exaggerating, went outside and played basketball every single day. And it would be me, it would be Lucas, it would be, you know, sometimes Tyler. The babies would even get on, get in on it. They would, you know... I would lift them up and they would, you know, throw their baskets. Salem would come out sometimes and play with us. Like, we all played with this basketball hoop every single day. Bob got rid of it and said that we never used it. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. never use it. Never used it. And I was like, we have three basketballs out here. We literally use it every single day. And he still got rid of it. So wherever we move, I'm going to... I'm going to buy a basketball hoop because Yay. my kids genuinely, and I mean, I, Lucas doesn't have to play it at school if he doesn't want to. If it's not something that he wants to do, you know, as a sport at school, that's fine. But right. play it outside, you know, because you actually enjoy playing it, you know, like. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, Can I buy a milk pail? Do we have one yet? I already have one. I milk oh, the okay. and the goat every single day. Oh, did you already put one in the um, community center? No, because you have to get a large milk. And that takes a while uh, before they start producing the large ones. Okay. Did you get shears for the sheep? We don't have a sheep. What do we have? We have a goat. We have two goats. Oh, we have two goats. Those yeah, are goats we need, the, we, need the bigger, um, we need the bigger barn before we unlock sheep. Gotcha. Okay. I was just looking to see what was here. Obviously, we already have everything. Um, yeah, I, um, yeah, exactly. It's like, it's, it's like that, that's kind of the thing. Well, like Augie wants to take a, um, a small break from Taekwondo, mm -hmm. which disappoints me because I know he enjoys it. Oh, just got a large milk. Um, oh, yay. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, like I, I'm upset because, you know. Yeah. I know he enjoys it, and I know he's just doing it because he is always tired because he refuses to go to bed at a decent time. Right. Um, which drives me crazy because ugh, he's like a little friggin' teenager. Um, but um, yeah, uh, I, you know, I told him like, okay, if you wanna, if you wanna take a break, then we won't pay for it for a month. Like, that's fine. Um. And Callie is about to join it. And she's kind of upset that she's not going to be joining it with her brother. But yeah, and I don't know. Yeah, COVID definitely put a damper on like a lot of the of the events. Um, Lucas was in Cub Scouts. Salem had been in track, but blowing out his knee kind of messed up. Oh yeah. Up. Um, and then. Obviously, Matthew um, graduated, so yeah. he was no longer in anything. Um, and then Matthew got a job. Um, Salem can't do any kind of 
like we tried we tried to find if there was like clubs or some sort of something Salem could do doing virtual and there's nothing um Billy yeah and uh Lucas didn't want to do any kind of like after school anything and like a lot of it was really limited because of COVID and another problem is a lot of it like certain after school things like now it'll be easier with him being in middle school but in at the elementary level certain after school things are hard to do because if it's in the evening I have the babies and I can't necessarily oh. always get him to certain things hold on just one second Tony okay Okay, sorry, I thought I heard someone knocking, but I didn't. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what else we can even talk about when it comes to, like, parenting or parenting, like, um, things. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, well, obviously we know that we don't, like neither of us like restrict our kids like eating or anything crazy like oh, that oh yeah god no 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 and i'm very 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 careful to not ever comment on anything to do with that kind of thing like if nope, you want four plates of dinner you get four plates yep same you know, like there's... well i will say I will tell my kids that they need to chill out with snacking sometimes because they're just snacking all day and I'm like, hey guys, we don't have the money for you to be eating all of our snacks in one day. But <laughs> it's more like that than, <laughs> um, but yeah, me either. Yeah, and I've like, I never like, I don't, um, I don't comment on eating. Like, eating is just, it's fuel for your body. If your body needs fuel, your body gets fuel. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, yeah. And, uh, like, I don't do, like, and, you know, I can't even say, like, what about, like, makeup and stuff because none of your kids have ever cared at all about makeup. <laughs> nope. Um, Although I do let my boys paint their nails anytime they want and I've never yeah. been no and that. I what if what if any of them had wanted to like wear makeup when they were younger I don't care yeah. see there you go no some people are really offended by kids and makeup <laughs> well no I I was not the type of parent who was gonna buy Salem makeup at like four years old no I just I did not feel like that was something that his skin needed that young. Um, oh, but his he didn't skin? care about. Yeah, makeup goes on your skin, like on your face. I mean, like foundation and blush and stuff like that. But like, yep, eyeshadow also goes on your eyelids, which is skin. I and guess lipstick Does goes it on your, your lips, eyelids, which is skin. But my child has sensitive skin, and I was not about to risk oh. more allergies or things like that. And I just gotcha. at that young of an age, nope. You really don't need makeup. Not well, at all. I don't think and anybody like, needs If Salem that, had came to me and been like, ooh, I really want to wear makeup, right. then I would have, you know, been like, okay, you know, I, like Vivian all the time because Vivian is not allowed to touch makeup at home. Like, not mm -hmm. allowed to. And like the one time that Christina put it on her, I think Christina got in a lot of trouble. Um, but over here, every single time I'm putting on makeup or like if. I get home from work and I've got makeup on, um, or like if Vivian spends a night and like I'm going to something, Vivian wants to put makeup on with me. Yeah. So I don't actually put makeup on Vivian because Vivian's mother does not want her wearing makeup and I'm not going to go against her mother's wishes. Right. But what I do is I take my blush brush and I put it in the mirror of the blush container. And I hand Vivian the blush brush, and she thinks that she's putting it on her cheeks. Mm -hmm. um, I also do the same thing with the foundation. I put it in the lid instead of in the actual foundation. 
um, I give her my <laughs> eyeshadow brush and I just let her brush it on her eyes. I and tried to do that with Callie. <laughs> I, and then the only thing that she actually puts on her is clear mm. lip gloss that I have that I have specifically for her and she puts it on her lips and she's uh, very proud of herself. Callie used to love, like wanted to do makeup with me from like the age of three when mm. I would do my makeup, she wanted to do her makeup. Yeah. I tried, I tried to do the whole like, give her a little bit, but she would call me out. She'd be like, mom, nothing is going on my, my eyes. Like mom, like this, this isn't giving me any color. <laughs> like she wanted the color and she would not. Oh, well see, it probably helps it. that I don't really wear like color colors on my eyes. Oh yeah, see I do. I because wear, like, my eyelids are already brown. Yeah. I mostly just put like a very light shimmery like gold or something or sometimes like glitter. And like oh, yes, if I'm see, if I'm wearing my, my glitter eyeshadow, like that. That. I give Vivian the same thing that I just used on my eyeshadow. So she does get a tiny bit of glitter on her. But yeah. not anything like significant. Gotcha. Yeah, see for me it's it's I wear like like the brighter colors and like the bolder makeup, so Yeah. Calista was that. like, Yeah, no, if you're gonna paint paint pretty colors on your face, I am too. So I was just like, Okay. And yeah. like now she sometimes she'll wanna like do her makeup for fun, but for the most part she, you know she doesn't really care. But I've never painted it as like a but I've also never painted it as like a I need makeup to feel pretty or like I need makeup to look young or you know anything stupid like that it's just like a I like having some you know fun colors on my face it's like a fun canvas you know I'm just doing pretty pretty art on my face or like you know like I'll say like like when she sees me putting concealer under my eyes and she asked me what that was for I was like oh, just so I look a little less tired it makes my eyes look more awake you know what I mean like it's never like a Soon I'm painted as 15, like a... and I still have to explain to him that I'm not wearing makeup because I think that I need makeup to look pretty. I'm yeah. wearing makeup because I look like a zombie, and I have to go out in public, and I don't want people to think that I just died. Yeah, well, and that's, like, the thing is, like, I wear makeup because, one, it makes me look less tired because otherwise I look exhausted all the time, um, and also because I just think... The colors are fun. Like, I think it's fun to, like, play with colors and, like, experiment with, you know. Oh, I got, I'll go to bed, too. <laughs> um, things like that. And that's kind of how I've always painted it. Because, like, you know. So, like, you know, Callie, because of, hopefully because of that or, you know, whatever, has never seen it as, like, a makeup makes you look pretty thing. It's more of just a makeup is fun and makes my face kind of colorful thing, you know? Yeah. Um, well, and I don't see anything wrong with little kids playing around with makeup to a point. Um, yeah. But, like, I don't think that kids need to wear makeup every single day. They're little kids. Oh, yeah, no. Wearing makeup every single day or, like, feeling like you need to put on your makeup before you go out at, like, six years old is yes, insane. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and it's not good for your skin when you're right. that little. Like, right. I know that they make little kid makeup, but, like, the little kid makeup is basically fake makeup, and I know some little girls who just were not having that and would were like, absolutely not. You know, this yeah. is not real makeup. Give me real makeup. Yeah. And that's fine. Like, obviously, I used to buy Liliana makeup if she wanted yeah. makeup. Like, still to this day I do, but, you know, she's 16 now. Um, but Sale never really cared about makeup. And the, when Salem did express interest in trying makeup, I literally went and bought Salem makeup without a problem. Yeah. So, like, I'm not anti-makeup. I just am not going to, like, for a present, buy a four-year-old makeup. I'm <laughs> right. Like, I suppose if they asked for it and that's all that they wanted, okay, fine, whatever. But, like, I'm not going to, like, go out of my way to give my child makeup at a very young age. I Just gave Callie because you know what I mean. I gave, like I gave Callie an eyeshadow palette that uh, was just like mine when she was five because she always wanted to use mine and she was too rough with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and like, <laughs> yeah, like if your kid is already expressing interest in makeup, but you know, if for your three-year-old's birthday you're buying them makeup because you know they're three now and so they have to start wearing makeup for their preschool boyfriend. You know what I mean? Like. Oh like fine whatever if, if that's how you want to parent that's fine but like get your kid a good dermatologist because yeah their skin is too little and too sensitive for that i mean i guess not all skin like heather got lucky heather and lily have perfect skin 
Yeah. Like, I do not have perfect skin. My, you know, part of it is being allergic to the cold, but some of it is just not having perfect skin. And so, you know, I feel yeah. like you just, you need to be careful with, you know, too much, too much makeup on little skin that is sensitive. Right. Yeah, I guess I never really thought of, like, eyelids and lips as, like, something that were going to be horribly damaged. You know what I mean? Like, if my kid was wearing, like, foundation or something, then that would be... Do, do little kids... Are there little kids that wear foundation? Yeah, Lily used to wear foundation. Really? Mm -hmm. You don't even... There's I mean, no not, reason I don't, I don't know if it was, like, liquid foundation or if it was more just, like, powder. But, like, even now, she wears it sometimes, and I don't know why, because her skin is flawless. Yeah. And I mean, I guess, like, like, maybe for, like, even tone or, you know, like, maybe, uh, what's it called, contouring or something, because, you know, I don't know enough about makeup, and she knows more about makeup than me, oh, okay. but, like, I don't feel like she needs it. And here's the thing, right, right, and here's the thing is, like, I also, and I don't want to sound like, because, you know, part of me is, like, grateful that I don't know. I had it rough as a kid. Let me start by saying that. I had it rough and I was already teased a whole bunch. And on top of that, when I was a teenager, I had like really bad skin. Um, and I feel like if mom or someone had like been like, hey, you know, you, you could, you could use this and, you know, make it a little less noticeable, you know, like you could put out, you know, whatever, or like, even out your skin tones or whatever I would have had I feel like it would have done a lot for my confidence at that age which shouldn't be like I should be able to be confident you know yeah well I wore it, makeup when but, I was young like I think I was 12 when I was allowed to wear makeup and yeah. I had had you know I'd been watching Heather and Heidi put on makeup for years so you know I would wear makeup nope. all the time bright colors stuff like that but not super young like I didn't care about makeup when I was like six years old I never, yeah, I didn't either, but when I was a teenager, if somebody would have been like, hey, let me show you how to wear foundation and that'll, like, cover up some of your crazy, crazy, you know, like, acne, I would have been like, oh, thanks, that helps with my confidence a little bit because now I feel like people are looking at my face and not just at my forehead. You know what it's I mean? True, like, but it's also probably good because that's worse for your skin. Yeah, I know, I know. But, like, it's just something. Like, it's nobody right. ever did anything to help me with that kind of a thing and I didn't even know how to do makeup until I was in my 20s right and that's I don't think that that's a bad thing because well, and obviously like, people need makeup or feel like they need makeup yeah but it just I feel like it would have just been nice to have the option I guess well and I don't think that Liliana starting to wear makeup when she was really young is a bad thing she was what maybe six when yeah. she first started wearing makeup and like I don't I mm -hmm. think it was I think it was like the little kid palettes at first if I'm not mistaken which Heather yeah. probably gave her like some of her old makeup too just you know because that's what we all do with our kids yeah. uh, but like and I, I don't know if she wore powder or if she just wore like I think what she did is I think Heather got her like a shimmery like not like a bra I don't know what they're called because I don't know enough about makeup terms so I don't know if it was actually a foundation, but I think that it was just like a skin shimmery thing that would just kind of give her skin like a little shimmer because remember Liliana was just an absolute glitter princess. Yes. Um. So, you know, if it had a little bit of glitter in it, her life was complete. So I think that that's what Heather got her was like a something like that that was just like a shimmery kind of whatever. Yeah. Um. And she looked adorable in her makeup, but she also looked like twice her age and sometimes it was jarring to see. Yeah. Um, especially because oh, no. Salem was so tiny compared to her. <sighs> so, like, you'd see them walking next to each other, and it would look like there was, like, a 12-year age difference as opposed to, like, 12 minutes. Yeah. Why did you just quit? I didn't. My thing just disconnected. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah. Oh, oh connection really? failed. Okay, let's try that again. Man, what is it with Steam being so finicky today? Is that what it is? Know. Steam messing up again? Yeah. Okay, there I am. I'm back now. Um. But yeah, but yeah. Like, I don't. I don't necessarily think that it was bad that she started wearing it as young as she did because she's definitely better at makeup than me now. But I also <laughs> was not like like I said. If Salem would have 
you know, came to me and been like, ooh. But, like, even for recitals, Salem did not want to wear makeup. Hated makeup. I know. So, you know, I suppose if I would have had a child that came to oh me. Oh, my God, it closed the connection again. Seriously? Mm-hmm. I suppose if I would have had a child who came to me begging to wear makeup, I might have had a different stance on it, because I'm certainly not going to be like, um, no, no one in this house wears makeup. Right. But I also wasn't going to, like, buy it, like, oh, here you go, you know, here's some makeup that you didn't ask for. You know what I mean? Like, just yeah, for fun. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, the only reason why I got a knee for Callie was because she enjoyed doing it with me, and then she's like, Mom, can I have some of my own? And I was like, heck yeah, you can. You can stop ruining my eyeshadow yeah, let's exactly. let's go for it <laughs> exactly like uh, but like but she Lucas also asked for nail polish i went and bought him his own nail polish yeah exactly well like she also like if it was something where she started being like i i can't you know i have to do my makeup before we leave and i'd be like okay like chill you know you're six years old like right exactly relax but it's well, more like, just like every once in a while she feels like doing her makeup and she will but 90 percent of the time she's just you know, six-year-old faced. <laughs> right. And well, I don't... And like, when you're sitting at home, if you're doing makeup every single day because you want to try out different makeup looks, it doesn't really matter if you're six. You're sitting at home. Yeah. My right. whole thing is, like, if you're leaving the house and, like, wearing full makeup at, like, eight years old, or, like, wearing makeup to school at eight, like, fine, I guess, do you. That That's fine. But, like, be careful because your skin is so young <laughs> yeah and, and you really need to uh not well, like get demolished by makeup at any yeah yeah well and i would never like if callie wanted to wear because even i don't wear like foundation most of the time mm -hmm. um because my skin is so like naturally oily yep that i can't like if i wear foundation i'm gonna break out um I only wear it in the summer, in the winter, because of that rash that I get from the cold. Yeah, sometimes I wear it in the winter, um, because for some reason, like, when I get sun and I tan, mm -hmm. my skin doesn't break out so much. Yeah, that's actually a thing. Yeah, it but then the in the in the winter, my skin gets worse, so sometimes I'll wear some foundation, and then, of course, in turn, that'll make it even worse, but... Yeah. Um... But Callie has never been allowed to touch my foundation because I'm like, right. no, you're not. That's yeah, that's so bad for your foundation. skin, and you're six years old, and you don't even have any, like, your skin is perfect. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. Yeah, that's my whole thing. Is I don't, uh, I don't want a child to like wear foundation at that young of an age. Yeah, but at the same time, if I see a parent whose kid is wearing it, I'm gonna be like, your makeup looks lovely, and. You know, you did a great job because right. I don't, yeah, I don't really care. Kid feel bad for wearing. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna make a parent feel want. bad for letting them either. Oh well, yeah, obviously. But I just, oh, I hate it because of their skin. Like, I just, yeah, I, I hate that they're so young and their skin is getting all. Which I mean, I guess foundation's probably not gonna hurt your skin when you're really young, but. Right. I don't know. I just, I always worry with Salem skin because it's so freaking sensitive. Yeah, it's sensitive like yours. Yeah. Well, and uh, he's got all those allergies too, which I mean, those are all to um, antibiotics, but I mean, you never know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because a kid who's, who's prone to allergies to one thing is often yeah, prone exactly. to more allergies. Yeah, so, so thankfully Salem was never super into makeup anyway, but... Uh, I know, Salem. Salem was so funny when I was a kid. Aunt Holly, are you wearing makeup? Yeah. Why? <laughs> oh, and then take it off. Before you're we wearing too much, take it off. Before we started recording, Salem came downstairs and said, why are you still we wearing your work clothes? I said, because I haven't changed and put on pajamas yet. Why are you wearing makeup? Because I went <laughs> to work today and I wear makeup to work. You need to take that makeup off right now. And I said, no, because Aunt Holly and I are probably recording and I'm going to have to be on camera and I don't want to look washed out. You don't need that makeup. Take it off. I'm like, you are not the boss of me. You're my 15 year old. <laughs> right? I just, and I loved, I loved his conviction so much with that. No, you don't need to wear that. Take it off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Still, at 15 years old, Salem gets mad at me if I wear makeup. 
Stop it, stop it, stop it. You do not need makeup. Like, okay, sure, I don't need makeup, but I'm still going to wear it sometimes. Especially, yeah, that's like, the thing. If I I'm don't need it. Work. It's just fun to watch or fun to wear, and I enjoy the way it makes me feel. Well, <laughs> and like, I always look tired, which granted, I don't like all that I wear to, to work is, um, like a little bit of eye makeup and lipstick and that's it. And that's all that I wear on camera, like when I'm recording too. And it's yeah. because I don't want my lips to look washed out and I don't want my eyes to look like dark holes. So I try yeah, it's to an make it. Trick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, you know, that's all I do. Like Well it's... and for me What? Oh, I, um for me, like when I when I put on makeup, well sometimes I'll do like I'll do like colors on my eyes and do like you know, like, a winged eyeliner kind of thing, um, but when it comes to, like, other things, I just put a little bit of concealer under my eyes, so my under eyes aren't so dark, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'll put a little bit of, like, most of the time I just put, like, a really, like, unnoticeable color on my lips, just so that they don't look so, like, splotchy, mm -hmm. um, sometimes I'll put, like, a bolder color, but I, I don't, like doing I don't, red lipstick, but I don't do that when I'm at work, because, I'm right. Just a secretary, I don't need to be wearing bright red lipstick. <laughs> right. Um, but like I uh Yeah, like it's rare like I don't I don't go all out with like a contour and like, you know, like I don't even that know how to do stuff. any of that stuff at all. I do know how to do that stuff, but I don't want to because it's too time consuming and it's just no. I don't like all of that caked on my face, but just like yeah, it's just for me it's just like and ninety percent of the time, my eyeliner, or I mean, my eye makeup is just like a simple top liner, a little bit of eyeshadow, some mascara, and like um, concealer under my eyes, and that's it. Yeah, I uh, I don't know how to do Whew. most like makeup looks. Um. I know how I know how to do them technically, but like I can't execute it properly. <laughs> Yeah, like I've even tried winged eyeliner and I just absolutely cannot do it and then I just turned oh, I used, just too old for it. I use scotch tape. Oh yeah, I've actually heard that trick. I think Salem is that. It was either Salem or Liliana who showed me that trick. And, yeah, uh, that's what I do and it works. I'm still not very good at it. <laughs> my makeup is not good. I don't do a good job with my makeup. I just put a little bit on to look a little more professional and i'm actually considering not wearing any makeup tomorrow because they told me at work that um in the summer it's okay if we don't really look super like you know we can just wear like whatever yeah um which you know i still want to be in the habit of you know looking professional when i go into work but it's not fully necessary so that makes right. me feel better and i might forego the makeup tomorrow I'm so tired of putting on makeup every freaking morning. <laughs> right. I know, if I do makeup, like, thankfully when we go places, it's normally not until, like, the early afternoon or, like, whatever, because I could not do makeup in the morning. I would not have the motivation or the energy. <laughs> right. <sighs> My eyes are watering so much. All right, well, how long has this video been? So long. I don't even want to look. I'm scared. Let's see. Ugh, one hour and 48 minutes. We have been talking about parenting styles. <laughs> and, all right, well, we could probably wrap it up, but I do have yeah, some, I do want to stay on the thing with you um, for a minute afterwards. Okay. Do you have more ideas? I don't think that I wrote down the ones that you told me the other day. I think I forgot to write them down. Um, no. Oh, all right. Um, I'm going to mute for a second and end this. You want to say bye? Okay, bye, everyone. <laughs> all right, give me one sec. Oh my okay. gosh, my eyeballs. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, sorry that I'm like aggressive. No, I'm talking, talking with Antonio. My eyes are recording to post so on YouTube, right so I'm saying bye to anybody who might watch. Um, okay. but uh, anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I, get to your and, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.